What's the worst date you ever had? Hey friend, click the red subscribe button below for new videos every single day. Well, I gave this answer on a different topic, but it ties in with this. We were out on a date, we had been seeing each other for a while, close to a year maybe. She gets a phone call. Suddenly, she looks destroyed. Her fiancé had just died in a motorcycle accident. How do you even react in that situation? Losing two guys in one night. You've got some bad luck. I, I'm sorry. Wait no. Fuck you, man. But that sucks. Are you okay? Wait. But, seriously? What? That's it. Precisely. I didn't get mad. We both knew where she needed to be. But I wasn't sticking around. Got set up on a blind date once, between mutual friends. She shows up to the restaurant, already a little tipsy, orders multiple appetizers, and only takes like one or two bites from each one. Then, she proceeds to order three or four more drinks, and is visibly drunk at this point. She gets up, and says she's going to the bathroom, and staggers off. About 15 to 20 minutes go by, so I try to call her several times, but no answer. Finally. I decide to pay the check and just leave. About 2 hours later, I'm sitting at home, and I get a call from an unknown number. It's the police department. She was picked up on a DUI on her way home, after she ditched me, and gave the cops my number to see if I could go bail her out. That is a bold move. How hard did you laugh at that? I was blown away. I just said I don't know anybody by that name. Came out from a movie, late at night and dates Camaro was stolen. Apparently, he called his wife, that I did not know he had, and let her know where he was and what happened. She showed up, and realized he was on a date. She started chasing me around the parking lot, telling me she was going to kill me, saved by the cops who showed up, just in time to take the auto theft report. Never understood that. Why do people get mad at the person who isn't their significant other when their significant other is the one stepping out on them? My guess is, it's easier to think, this fucker seduced my significant other. Significant other would never do that, than it is to think, this fucker is cheating on me. Shifting the blame onto the stranger, is just easier for some people. My wife wanted to plan our 13th wedding anniversary. I was excited, because usually I plan it. She bought us some new golf discs, and after a quick supper, we went to play. We hadn't played in forever. We were laughing, and I had a great time. She served me with divorce papers, and told me that date was a test, to see if she still had feelings for me. I also learned that she was having an affair that started well before our anniversary. Edit. Holy cow everyone. I love you all. Your support in this is amazing. Thank you to everyone with the kind words. Honestly. I've had a rough couple of days, but having hundreds of people show me I'm supported. Thanks reddit. Effing hell. I felt like I just got whammed with a steel crowbar. After seeing the second paragraph, she can go F herself mate. I felt like I just got served papers. Met a girl through a dating site, and we agreed to meet up for dinner. I learned very quickly that this girl had absolutely no sense of humor whatsoever. I don't even think she cracked a smile the entire night. The date just got more and more painful as the night went on. At one point, we were talking about online dating. She told me about a friend of hers that went out on a first date with a guy online. She said this crazy guy fell absolutely in love with her friend, and said he wanted to marry her. So I said, oh, well, I guess I shouldn't have picked up this engagement ring on the way here, then. She just stared at me blankly, and said, that's not funny. Yes, it is. F you. I think it was funny too. I remember when I was dating my wife, she told me on several occasions guys would tell her, I love you, on the first date. They never got a second date. My response was, I don't love you, yet, we have been married 31 years. Edit. LOL. Yes I said, I love you. If I remember, it was after 3 months of dating, but that was a long long time ago. Brilliant move. Always include a, yet, with things like this. Best to cover your ass, haha. Ha. You don't have herpes, yet. Am I doing it right? I was brought up in Poland, by Polish parents, university professors, went to a Polish school, Polish university, etc. Then, 
I had a date with an American man, whose grandmother was Polish. He grilled me on the language, and criticized my pronunciation, and corrected my grammar. This, from a guy whose Polish vocabulary was maybe 100 words. He told me I speak like a peasant. I, too, am Polish, live in America, said something in Polish in a class once. A Russian classmate told me, completely seriously, that my pronunciation was horrible. Yeah, I know. That's because I'm not speaking Russian. It was a double date. She was more interested talking to the other girl, throughout the whole thing. Found out later, from the other guy, that his girl cheated on him with my date. Whoa, that was a twist ending I didn't see coming. Happens to me quite often. Back in college, actually, a lot of girls I tried to date back then, always found themselves to be gay. For some reason. This happened to a buddy of mine in high school. He dated three girls in a row, who came out as lesbian, right after breaking up with him. Dude's last name happened to be, Turner. Poor guy got teased quite a bit for that. Oh boy, finally my time to shine. I talked to a girl on Tinder, 8 years ago. She got drunk, and told me to come over, because her and friends were playing strip poker. I was on overnight duty, so sadly I could not partake. 30 minutes later, I receive a picture on my phone, that I couldn't even make out. I handed my phone to my roommate, and asked if he could figure it out. He says, dude, that's a butthole. It surely was. She had taken a picture of her butthole, from at measly 0.5 inches away, and it was so close up, I could barely tell what it was. I thought to myself, if this is how she leads, the rest has to be great. Spoiler alert, was wrong. She tells me we should finally meet next weekend, at Applebee's. I meet her there, and she looks beat, like she had just run 5 triathlons and been awake for a week straight. Not 3 minutes into meeting and sitting down, she says she has to use the restroom. She doesn't come back for 30 plus minutes. The waiter comes up, and says he has seen her here multiple times, and she has been known to shoot up heroin in the bathroom and pass out. I'm very not into this at this point. But for her own safety, I ask if a waitress could peek in the bathroom and see if she is okay. She was not. She OD'd, and died. So that was a thing. TLDR. My Tinder date showed me her butthole, then OD'd, and died at Applebee's. Met a girl at a country bar one night in my 20s. We were both pretty drunk, but hit it off pretty good. Ended up getting her number, and we agreed we'd go on a real date. Fast forward to the date. She gets in my vehicle and, she looks almost identical to my mom. I was mortified. I was polite, and we went for lunch, where I found out she also had a boyfriend she wasn't sure if she was into. Never talked to her again. That's crazy, because I also went on a date with someone that looked exactly like your mom. The things you have to do to spend time with your kids when they are grown. I smoked a lot of weed at the time, and had a date with a girl I met on OkCupid. Okay who was 420 friendly. She told me to bring some with me, so we met at a Mexican restaurant at 7.30, and smoked in my car before going in. As soon as we finished the bowl, she was like, oh I forgot, I have work at 8 tonight, bye. So, she either went through all that effort to get smoked out one time, or she lemon lord me, but still wanted to bum a smoke session off me. Either way, I was high as f, and wasn't going to not get some enchiladas, so I went in and got a table for one. Lemon Lord, in the first 5 minutes of a date, you have to decide if you want to commit to an entire night. If not, you simply Lemon Law them, and walk out, based on the real Lemon Laws in place. Lemon Laws are United States state laws, that provide a remedy for purchases of cars and other consumer goods, in order to compensate for products that repeatedly fail to meet standards of quality and performance. Girl I met online claimed to be 24, turned out to be 16. Fortunately, I figured it out before anything crazy happened, but man, talk about dodging a bullet. Probably not as bad as some of the others on here, but still makes me cringe 10 plus years later. I was 21, and met a guy at my summer job, who was 20. He was a super sweet guy, and we got along great when we worked the same shifts together. Eventually he asked me out on a date Saturday night, and I said sure. He said we would go out to dinner, hang out around town, etc. 
I was really excited because he seemed like a great guy, and I never went on many dates. I pull up to his house, and he comes out with like three other guys. They all jump in my car and I'm like, oh, hello, and they say they want to have a party that night, and started directing me around to all the local liquor stores so I could buy alcohol for them. I was a shy, self-conscious girl with low self-esteem, and I was always a people pleaser, who didn't stand up for myself, so I obliged. I drove these little assholes around town, picking up alcohol for them while they sat in the car, feeling like a complete and utter idiot the whole time. When we got back to my, friend's, house, and I parked and started taking off my seat belt, they started laughing at me, like, who said you were invited? I was totally non-confrontational so I just said, okay, see you later. They hopped out of my car, took the alcohol with them, and I drove home, totally burning in embarrassment. I had a shift with the guy a few days later, and he never even acknowledged it. Neither did I but our vibe obviously changed dramatically. I never saw him again after that summer. Edit. Thank you all for your kind words and concern. This was a long time ago, and I have grown a lot since then. I'm in a much better place mentally, with a lot more confidence, with a wonderful husband, beautiful son, and another little one on the way. Those guys were shit, but we all learn and grow from our mistakes, and it contributed to an eventual realization that I deserve to be treated much much better. I mean honestly, if it's a girl you work with, and seem to have a good work relationship with, you could just ask her to get it for you. Like the whole fake date charade just seems like it's a lot more effort than was required.